Have you ever felt that your business goes wrong? Don't worry, what you need has arrived. Welcome everyone, today we are going to present you a, a informative documentary about hints on making presentations and how you take them into account in a business presentation. As you know, currently it's not enough just to create a PowerPoint. It's important to include uh, some aspects um, to obtain a successful presentation. Now, Melissa, a great businesswoman, will show you how to use the advices and the research. Good morning, Valentina, and good morning, everyone. Today, we will talk a little about we achieved in the last convention and the launch of the new product 2020. Throughout <coughs> these years, we have faced the challenge in which we have known that being beautiful is essential for every woman. Through various investigations and prototypes, we managed to create the Morphe Foundation that gave her the around the world, perturbing into the entire beauty and fashion industry. But this doesn't stop our desire to innovate uh, science. We have the acceptance of all the public. So with the col collaboration of makeup artist James Charles, we develop the new eyeshadow palette. Hi sisters, James Charles here here at the Square One Mall in Toronto, Canada. I am so beyond excited because today we are opening Canada's first ever Morphe store. It's going to be an amazing day, so I hope you guys pop on by and get to say hello. My company is called Morphe and the slogan is the power on your side. Also, it has a website. You can also find us on Facebook as shown. We have beauty products for men and women, such as makeup, brushes, bodywares, lipstick, eyelash, blush, and others. Melissa, this is incredible. I would like to tell us how you have become so recognized for the sale of your product and innovation. That's right, Valentina. Applying an effective technique to a business presentation needs different marketing techniques to be successful. For example, in my company, I have used methodic such as chronological structure characteristics benefits and storytelling as you could see a good alternative maybe is start with a story share some personal experience also try to catch the attention of the public on top of that it's essential that you manage to section the speech um, according to the themes. Of course, Valentina, that is very important. Also, as you say, master the subject and convince through the benefits and reasons to have and use the company's products. Now we're going to give you some small tips to prepare with PowerPoint program Prezi and another program that will reinforce your speech and allow you to add examples and information that will keep 
um, the attention of the public, of the viewers and listeners. First, care for the design. It's important to take care of the design of the slide with any of the programs to make presentations. You can choose neutral and simple backgrounds. Also use a simple typeface. Second, less is more. If you are brief, you will be more successful. Therefore, when you make your presentation, remember to simplify the all information, uh, be very direct and summarize in simple outlines. Third, illustration. Um, remember these slides are a support that is don't transcribe what you are going to say. Use concepts and expressions that are easy to read uh, at first sight. Four, eye contact. A good PowerPoint presentation is not only illustrative, it's also a way to focus in the audience's attention on that image. Five, practice. It's very necessary that you practice the presentation, apart from putting yourself in front of a mirror to gain confidence, it's important that you do it with the slides or imagine that you use them to gain confidence and avoid mistakes. 6. Tell a story. The slides in PowerPoint presentation should tell a story, the same one you explain in your presentation. The next topic is product and company presentation. Join us for the next story in this documentary. Good morning everyone. This is a brief description of an enterprising businesswoman who was able to conquer the world with her product presentation, being innovating and captivating her followers. Her name is Daniela Monroy a woman of only 22 years old, that today has fairly large income and, besides being an enterprising, is an idol for many. Having the formula, she decides to open a school for low-income people to show them how to make their business presentation in order to become one they want to be. So, let's see a little more about her life. Okay, hello everyone and thank you so much for that nice introduction, Carol. Okay, first of all, I want to tell you that reaching this point has not been easy. I have to overcome many obstacles, but after that, so much struggle and effort, I have managed to be recognized and also help people that is in principle one of my passions, Carol. And before I answer your questions, Carol, I would like to say to the people who are watching us that I have always cared about other people and if you ever have the opportunity to make presentations and be recognized, always be humble and don't forget where you come from. Okay, so tell us how did you have that great idea? Well, it turns out that since I was very young, I was always a very enterprising woman. In fact, presentations always flowed for me. At the school, I was always the best of the class. And one particular day, the director of, at the school called me when I was in 11th grade and told me that she needed me to make a product presentation. I did it without a doubt. And when I arrived, uh, the place where I was presenting, I found 500 people in the audience. At that moment, I was sweating and super nervous, but I talked outside and went out to make the presentation. I trust the knowledge and everything came out wonderfully. From that moment, I knew that was my thing. Wow, that's super cool. Yes, 
that's totally your thing. And now about your knowledge of product presentation, may you give us some important advice about that? Okay, I will briefly show you some advices that you can take into account for such presentations. There are quite simple tips and always remember to be constant and perceptive. First, if you want to present a product, service, idea or company, you must have a deep knowledge of it, such as benefits, characteristics, advantage, among others. You can acquire information by reading articles, essays, doing research, and if you created the product yourself, you must be completely clear about the functions. On the other hand, you must take into account the sales strategy, which must be innovate something that really catches the attention of the public. You have to make an entry talking about some experience, telling a joke, or just giving an advice. This is a good way to get the audience attention. Finally, you need to know the public to whom you are promoting the service and know if the product or service is really necessary for them. You must also put into practice the appropriate vocabulary. Remember that. Okay, guys, take notes about that. And Miss Monroy, and the last thing, tell us one mistake that we have to avoid. Mm, usually, the mistake Carol is made of saying the disadvantage of the product, and this should not be done. All the advantages must be shown uh, for there to be a successful uh, sales or negotiation. Don't make people not buy the product. Or what would Google the presentation do? Okay, thank you, Miss Daniela. So, as you may have realized, Daniela is a figure to follow. Remember, to reach success, you not only need money. Of course, you need to be perceptive, be persistent, and acquire extra knowledge. So, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Okay, thank you for allowing me to show a part of myself to the public. And I hope this serves you well. And thank you so much, Carl. And thank you so much, everyone. Bye.